What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody that's on that bad boy membership. Shout out to everybody checking out the Game Kings documentary. If you want to get the Game Kings documentary for free, join the bad boy membership. If you want to be eligible to win the bad boy membership contest, join the bad boy membership. You know, it doesn't. If you want to get more chicks, join the bad boy. If you want to improve your life as a man, join the bad boy. If you want to get in touch with your identity because you know the truth is inside you, you just haven't really figured it out yet, join the bad boy. Look, whatever you do, join the bad boy. Anyway, just join the bad boy membership, all right? So what I want to talk about today real quick is always be aware of the common denominator. Always be aware of the common denominator. And, um, you know, for you for you cats who never did good in fractions, don't worry about it. We're not going to really talk about math, right? We, you know, I'm not really talking about fractions, um, you know, uh, so don't worry, um, you know. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> what I really want to talk about is people always forget that they're, in, that they're part in the equation. You understand? Like, for example, we did a live stream, I think it was yesterday or the other day sometime. A recent live stream do call in talking about hey man you guys ever you know encounter women that are just disrespectful for no reason and women where when when you talk to them all they really want from you is money and all they really care about is is what you could do for them and you know these chicks are disrespectful and they don't really respect men and they just want money from you and da 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 so <clears throat> as we do you know um we started asking him some questions. I started asking him about the environments that he's meeting these women. And then Lucario got even deeper and started asking him like, yo, do you, and Lucario also remembered that he had called him before and he was talking about the fact that he liked to go to strip clubs and, you know, trick money and blah, blah, blah. So he was like, you know, so, you know, he's like, oh, you're that guy that called in, right? And he was like, well, other than the strip clubs, have you ever offered a wo woman money? And he was like, yes. And then he was like, uh, when you when you set a date and a woman and a woman objects to where you where you know the woman objects to the details and logistics of the plans, do you change those plans to appease the female? And he said yes. And he said, basically, what's going on, bro, is your energy shows your energy comes off in the interaction with these females. And that's why they disrespect you. And that's why they only want to mess with you if you plan planning to give them money. You understand? Because what happens is a lot of times we forget, <clears throat> we forget to put a mirror up. You understand? We forget to hold ourselves accountable a lot, right? We forget that every time we meet somebody new, <clears throat> we, we still the same person, but we're meeting somebody new. You understand? So sometimes when we're, when we're meeting different people, but we have the same experience, we have a tendency to want to put the blame on all the people. Like, oh, all these women I'm meeting are just disrespectful. And all these women I'm meeting, they're just, they just, you know, gold diggers and they just money hungry and they just this and they just that. But what is the common denominator? The common denominator is you, right? And... <clears throat> It, 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 it happens so much so that we don't even realize the type of energy that we're putting out into the world when we meet these new people. You understand? And this is why this is why it's so important for us to always be, be you know, uh, taking taking stock, taking inventory of who we are. Right. We have to take inventory of who we are. We have to understand <coughs> that we have faults. In, in a situation. We have to understand that we have things that we need to fix in a situation. We have to understand that we have to understand that we have things that we can always improve on. So we can't blame we can't blame others because it's you know it's 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 so easy to put the blame on everybody else. And it's so easy it's easier to always shy away from the responsibility of improving our experiences. But it's really up to us. Why? Because we are always the common denominator. We are always a part of the scenario. Because this is this is life. This is what we're. This is this is us. This is what we're doing. This is where we're at. You understand? So we have to put in the work to make those improvements. Once we make those improvements, 
that's when we begin to improve our experience because we've improved as a person. You understand? Like, for example, I sit here truthfully, truthfully, I can honestly tell you, I don't get any disrespect from females anymore. When I was younger and I was a simp and I was ready to blame the whole world on all of my problems, I got disrespected all the time. I got disrespected so much. You understand? But when I elevated, when I elevated my mind, elevated my game and matured and developed as a person, at this point in, in, in the um at this point in the game, I I can honestly tell you that I don't I don't get disrespected by females anymore. And that's a hundred percent facts. I do not get respected by females anymore. Now <clears throat> Is that because I'm some, you know, super powered guru and I know everything about game and I know everything about life and I can, and I know women like the back of my hand and I can perfectly tell what's gonna happen and I'm just so perfect and my game is the tightest game on the planet? No, no it's not. But there's a few things about me, there's a few things that I've developed that I can see, I can see the signs early. So I cut the, I cut the short shit short. You understand? I, I see, I see signs of disrespectful behavior and I cut it out. I don't even let a woman get any step further. Do you understand? Once I see the red flag, for me, it's like hot lava. I don't touch it. You understand? I, I said this on the live stream the other day. It's like I'm in a factory and women are passing on a conveyor belt. And I pick up the, the I pick up the product. I look at it. If it's good, I put it back on the conveyor belt, and they can move. They can make progress with me. But if I pick up the the product and it has a crack in it, it has a chip in it, or it doesn't work correctly, or something's wrong with it, I toss it immediately. You understand? So <clears throat> I'm actively filtering everything that comes in my way. You understand? And I don't let anything stop my filtering process. I don't let any type of. I don't care how she looks. I don't care what environment I'm in. I don't care what she thinks she could do for me. I don't care. I don't care about nothing. You know, y'all know I love thick women with you know, you know, dark chocolate skin and and natural hair. I don't care how natural her hair is, how dark her skin is, and how fat her ass is. I do not care. I do not let any of those things compromise the integrity of my fil my filtration process. You understand? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> now, if that means that I'll get less women in my circle, if that means I could only do a few dates a month, if that means that it, it lowers the num my numbers, then that's what it means. And I'm willing to deal with that. Why? Because my respect is more, my peace of mind and my respect is more important than anything else. You understand? A lot of dudes is willing to go through a lot of different things with women because they, they're, it's, it's more important for them to deal with a lot of women than, than their peace of mind and their respect. You understand? And that's cool. If that's, if that's you, then that's you. Because you know that you're willing to deal with this in order to get this. And that's fine. You understand? But the, the secret to that is being willing to deal with it. You understand? You know that there's a trade-off. You know that there's a trade-off. You're like, well, I'm going to deal with more annoying nonsense from females, but at least I'll, I'll be in the presence of more females. And that's cool. A brother like me, on the other hand, though, I don't, I don't, I just can't. I just can't. I know who I am. I know who I am. And I know that I can't take certain levels of disrespect. I can't take certain levels of back talk. If I say we're going to meet at the Main Street Bar, that's where we're going to meet. Why? Because you should be excited to meet me. You should, I'm giving you an opportunity to get to know me. I'm giving you an opportunity to get to know a quality man. You understand? And I stand by that. You understand? So therefore, if you give me any friction, any, any, you're trying to be combative or you're trying to change my plans in any way, I can't see you. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. As soon as I, because I look at it as if you, if you're trying to change my plans or you trying to back talk me now and I just started talking to you, then it only could get worse from here. You understand? So therefore, me, when I deal with women, I don't experience any of that nonsense that a lot of guys experience because I know where I'm at. I know that I'm not willing to deal with it just for the sake of, you know, hanging out with chicks that are cute or hanging out with, with a, a higher volume of chicks. I'm just not, just not that dude. 
but that's because I know who I am. And I know the common denominator is me. So I know what I'm willing to deal with. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I don't deal with a lot of nonsense from women. And of course, that also affects my experience. And, and again, I'm willing to accept that. So you have to be willing to accept what you accept. Don't blame it on females. You can't blame it on females. You have to know that, hey, if you're gonna be dealing with a, a wider variety of females, then there's, there's a few things you're gonna have to deal with. You understand? But you can't you can't be, oh, females are disrespectful, females are Females gonna be what they gonna be. It's up to you to decide what you're gonna deal with. You understand what I'm saying? It's like it's like going to it's like going to Alaska and then complaining that it's cold, or going to Hawaii and complaining that it's hot and humid. You know what you're going to. You you know exactly where you're going. In, in Hawaii, it's a hot and humid climate, so that's what you're gonna be dealing with. You go to Alaska, <coughs> it's cold. You understand? And you only get like one month of summer in Alaska, so you know what you're gonna be dealing with. You get what I'm saying? That's that's pretty much it. Like this brother, for example, the guy I called in on the live stream. He lives in Atlanta. Chicks in Atlanta are a certain type of way, but there's a lot of chicks in Atlanta. So you have to use your, you have to have integrity with your filtration system and figure the type of women that you're trying to attract. And then when you realize who you are and the type of women that you're trying to attract, that's how you set up the criteria of your filtration system. Therefore, you only deal with what you choose to deal with. You get what I'm saying? But that's about it. Um, I could go on for another, Cause this is a pretty serious topic, but I, and I could go on, but I don't want to make the video too long. So um, maybe we'll talk about this a little bit more in a live stream or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> but it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys for checking this out. Um, tell me about your filtration process in the comments, right? Tell me what. Tell me the. Tell me the things that you're not willing to deal with with these females, right? Tell me and tell me sometimes where maybe you you broke that, you broke your integrity for you know, for a chick and it turned, you know, and tell, tell us how it turned out. You know what I'm saying? Put your story in the comments. Like I said, other people going to read your comments and they're going to be able to uh, get something from your experiences as well. All right. So, you know, get on that bad boy membership to be eligible for the bad boy membership contest. Um, get the game Kings documentary. If you haven't already check out the t-shirts and the links below. Uh, shout out to all the supporters. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for checking us out. Like, share, subscribe, comment. It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. I hope everybody's having a great day. The truth is inside you. Peace. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary, Game Kings, The Definition of Game. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece and a hundred dollar gift card to increase your chances of winning share this post in your story tag three friends and subscribe to mr lucario or the miles cunningham youtube channel the link is in the bio and follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck